Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over the solution to Chef and Dag from Code Chef March Challenge 2020. So the first observation is that Dancer is a forest. And we are told that Dancer must be a directed acyclic graph. And since each node has an out degree of at most one, it means that each node has at most one parent, so it makes the graph a forest. The second the, the second observation is that the answer uh, there there exists an optimal optimal answer which is a set of paths. So if we have a tree, what you can do is you can split it up into paths like these. And notice that the number of nodes with an in degree of zero will still be the same. But because we have, um, because we remove some edges to uh, change the tree into the set of paths, it means that the new answer will still be valid. So, that means, so yeah, this is why the optimal, there exists an optimal answer, which is a set of paths. The third observation is that you want the minimum number of paths since each path has exactly one node with zero in degree and we want to minimize the number of such nodes. For the fourth observation, if you look at the condition given the statement, which is here, it says that we, uh, we can't have these edges in our answer, but we can use any other edges which don't satisfy this condition. So let's consider the graph G, which contains all of the edges that we can use. And it turns out that G is a directed acyclic graph. And this is because when we just have one permutation, G will have all of the edges of these form. And these edges will create a will form a directed acyclic graph. And when we add more permutations, we only remove edges in G. So G will still be a directed acyclic graph after, after we add more permutations. And the last observation is just restating the problem. So we want to cover all nodes using the minimum, minimum number of paths, and each path should only have edges from the graph G. And this is a standard problem known as the minimum path cover on a directed acyclic graph, and it can be solved using maximum bipartite matching. And I'll include a link uh, to this problem in the description if you haven't heard of this before. And now I'll show my code here, which is pretty simple. So we start with the input, and then initially, uh, all of the edges are in G except for uh, self loops. And then we go through the permutations one by one, and according to the according to the condition in the statement, we'll remove the edges which uh, we're not allowed to have. And then after we find the graph G, which is stored in this adjacency matrix. Um, the rest of our, our solution is just implementing the standard minimum path cover on a DAG. And uh, for this problem, you basically just, a general overview of what you do is you just find the maximum matching and then you use the matching for the answer. Yeah, the link will contain more details on this. So if this video was helpful, then feel free to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, then feel free to ask them in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.